Cancer, welcome to your weekly reading. This is going to be for the sign of Cancer. It is not going to resonate with every single one of you out there. This is also not Sun, Moon, or Venus sign specific. Any Cancer placement that you may resonate with. Some of the messages may also resonate with you. Um, time is elusive. We are all on different timelines. Some of you, this is old news. Some of you, this is happening now. And some, this could definitely be more future focused. At the end of the reading, I will pull you some oracles, give you a bit more guidance for the week. Personal reading information and anything else that you want to know is all listed and linked in the description box. All right, let's go. Cancer, your first card out this week is the Queen of Pentacles. Aries also got that as their first card out. So if you're dealing with the Aries, maybe you want to watch that video. We also have the Queen of Swords, the Ten of Wands, the Ace of Swords, lots of sword, uh, lots of air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but there is some sort of truth, a conversation that is going to be very mm, clarifying is the vibe I'm getting, or there already was some sort of conversation here. The Ace of Swords, that's all about truth, clarity, that's also a now card, it's also a yes card. So any sort of blindness, anything you were just not a, not aware of, you didn't know what's going on or oblivious to or didn't see or didn't know of is going to be known one way or the other. Queen of Pentacles, Earth sign energy could be dealing with or a an air sign. <clears throat> Definitely a conversation. And I'm seeing how these two's backs are turned to each other, so... It's like definitely could be something where after this conversation happens, paths definitely have to cross. I mean, go separate ways. Or there could be an avoidance of a conversation now. One person could want to have a conversation. You know what? It's like both people want the conversation, but no one's taking the action to have the conversation. The Queen of Pentacles wants the conversation and the Queen of Swords wants the conversation. So even if this was between uh, two masculine energies... The fact that they're not taking action is why they're showing up in feminine energy, which is passive, right? You come to me, I ain't coming to you. Taurus energy here with this Hierophant, though. Mm, committed. Hierophant can be a committed energy, but it's also a sense of integrity. But it's like both people at the end of the day are not going to budge. With that Ten of Wands and the Two of Swords in the future energy, there's a lot of stubbornness here too. That could also be what that Taurus energy is about. Not typically with the Hierophant, but Taurus energy with the, with the Horn energy can be stubborn energy, especially with the Earth energy, which is also Capricorn energy. Very Can be stubborn energy. But two people that are very hard to move here. It's killing them, but they, they're not moving. Two people with a lot of integrity, it's like, kind of like once they make up their mind on something, whether it's a bad thing or a good thing, take it to the grave. They don't fold. There's no folding. We have the Empress, more Taurus energy and Libra energy. So heavy emphasis on an air sign and Taurus. And we have the Wheel of Fortune and the King of Cups. Okay, so now someone's getting ready to take some action. Action will be taken, despite how it's been, despite the battle. Action will be taken here. Only a matter of time. The Wheel of Fortune is all about a matter of time. Timing. Because I do think somebody's going to get sick of it. <laughs> five of uh, Cups. So your second five. Someone's definitely going to get sort of sick of the, 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 the war. The silent battle. There is some regret here. This is also the shoulda, woulda, coulda card. Okay. So it could be that someone's going to decide to take action before they regret not taking action. Because we see here, we have the Two of Cups, which is a, a mutual connection. Two people that love each other. You know, brothers, sisters, lovers, mom and dad, whoever it is. Two people that love each other. Platonic, romantic. We both, you know, care. Both very stubborn as well, but we both care. And someone's been reflecting, it looks like. Heavy emphasis on our earth, uh, earth sign, Virgo energy, major arcana. Someone has been reflecting and they've been, you know, should I, should I, should I, should I. But I think they're going to do it. With this King of Cups energy, tells me there is action going to be taken. And it looks like a conversation about emotions is also what most likely. Someone's going to probably tell, you know, this is how you made me feel. This is how I feel now. And I want to know how you feel. Where do you stand? Let's talk about it. You know what I'm saying? Let's talk about it. But it's like someone's been waiting for this person to do this the entire time. 
But anyways, this is the outcome that this uh, King of Cups is looking f is looking for. This is what they hope is going to happen. You know, the pettiness stops and you guys can move forward. In bliss and sunshine and rainbows. Just joking. Cancer, what is your guidance? Could be you, Cancer. You're deciding to be um, the bigger person. Which is also very integral. That is someone with integrity. Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. So it's literally an ex could be needing to be released. But this clear your energy also just signifies whatever grudge was being held, it needs to stop. The time has come to clear your energy. Whatever sort of, you know, wrongdoings that you were holding, the two of you are holding against each other, it needs to stop because there's still love here. Okay. Honeymoon, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Maybe a trip or some sort of um, isolation, you know, to sort of reconnect. Guidance, please, for Cancer. See how it was flipping out and it was going back in? Indecisiveness. We have Crow Spirit. Co-create with Spirit number 17, which is an eight. This is all about messenger energy. This is usually, you know, when someone's got something to say to you, some sort of uh, message needs to be delivered. Can be negative, can be not, but I don't associate any particular species of birds with negativity or positivity. I don't know enough about it. Maybe there is, but I don't know enough about it to be judging. To be judging the crow. You didn't choose that life. That life chose him. Guidance, please, for cancer. All messages are messages that need to be delivered, negative or positive, right? Meditation brings answers. Maybe some meditation is needed. Definitely med meditation creates clarity, which is what we came in, you know, which is here. It's there. It just needs to be sort of seeked. Someone needs to seek the clarity. See? Communicate clearly. Progress. Guidance, please, for cancer. So the time is necessary right now. The time, the the, 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 the stubbornness is useful because it's allowing sort of clarity to sort of seep its way in because I don't think neither of you really have a clear understanding. Emotions are still very much involved, so it can kind of cloud that a bit. Okay, what we got going on here? Don't let your past hold you back. So this is saying get over yourself <laughs> and expect powerful change. What are we missing this one? Cancer. This means this can be moved past. That's what that means. Don't let your past hold you back. Whatever happened to the past is not a dictator or should not be a measuring point of future success of this connection or any connection. Some of you, this two of cups can be a completely new connection. I don't feel like it is, but we do have the ace here and the ace can signify new. You know, or it could just be sort of a new energy brought to us, an existing connection. Expanding inner power. I am my most powerful when my creativity is given a voice. You see, it's all about speaking the F up right now. All this like, yeah, I don't want to say, let them, let them, it's not, it's not useful. Because it's like, how are we going to know that we're both actually thinking and feeling the same thing? Say what you got to say. There's only one of two answers. They're either going to laugh at you and tell you they don't like you, or they're going to cooperate what you're saying. You'd be much better off knowing either way, right? Either way, because it makes it very clear whether or not you're wasting your time. And that's what we do not want to do. So just speak up. Say what you got to say. Say what's on your chest. There's only one, the one, and the one will understand. Or people that are part of your soul group will hear you the way that, they need, that uh, you mean to be heard. Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So, big emphasis on our earth sign. And we have pregnancy. Someone is expecting. Double confirmation of that for some of you. Congratulations if that is you. And I think that is it. I believe so. That is your reading, Cancer. Hopefully it resonates with you. Um, thumbs me up. Do not forget to subscribe. And I will see you guys next week.